It's shitbox time for the new year. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and vice pants. Where do I come up with this stuff? Who's writing this shit? Um. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to a uh, brand new year of of, uh, of Alex's Toy Show. We got a pair of shit boxes to uh, open up. Going to do one this week, save one for the next week. And um, if you're not familiar with shit boxes, what happens is they've evolved since I started doing shit boxes. They used to be a hundred cards, and that used to have like a clear plastic on the on the front. So you see, like, oh, there's a Derek Jeter card there, or maybe somebody else that you you know would get you to buy the box for five bucks. Um, but in this case, uh, they, they lowered the count to 80 and they sealed it off. So you can't see. So you got some, you know, SNK baseball stars lookalike right here on the front and be like, wow, one and four could contain a hit. Well, what happens is one and four is if you bought four boxes in my imaginary two other boxes, <laughs> one of them would contain a hit, which is like a good card in their eyes. In our eyes, it's like, oh, look, I got this thing that nobody's ever heard about. We opened a mystery box the other day at uh, at Friday's, me and my friends Jen and Mike, and uh, they bought a mystery box at Target for like 15 bucks, and we're like, it could be anything. It could be a boat. <laughs> Who's seen that episode of Family Guy? And uh, there, there was a wide array of stuff in there that I think like kids would think it's pretty cool, but um, but nothing, nothing we were like, oh my God, we're taking this back. And then even in, even in like the best case scenario, this thing is like hard to open. Like you got to tear like cardboard, like cardboard made of solid steel, solid steel, cardboard, back on. And even then you can't get it open because there's glue, glue holding this thing together. It's stuck to my finger. I may have to, Ugh, look at, look at that. That's gross. I think we, I think I used to eat something similar in kindergarten. Not really. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, so I got a, a 95 score, 95 score Craig Biggio. That's pretty cool. Different look on the back. I'm not sure if those are stats or what those are supposed to be. I don't know. Uh, I was, I was out of baseball cards for a little while by, by, by 1995 so I missed out on a whole lot so I don't I don't know what was going on with score uh honorable mention to Alan Trammell nice long career on the back there that's pretty cool uh 89 upper deck upper deck always made some nice cards this was 89 upper deck was their first their first year and they blew like 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 this was the competition with this John Smiley uh tops 88 tops 89 upper deck like they look like completely different cards. Like you flip it over on the back, you got a just a cardboard, you know, and depending upon the uh, the year, it was a different color. Uh, cardboard look with some stats on the back. Sideways, so you can easily see them. But I mean, look at, look at what Upper Deck did. They got a second picture, they got the stats. You know what I'm saying? Like Upper Deck was like, oh my God, who's buying packs of cards for 89 cents a pack when packs were a quarter? This is why. Um, that's why, <laughs> because they were that much nicer. Uh, I got a Chili Davis, 87 Fleer Chili Davis. That was pretty cool. Joe McGroin, just kidding, <laughs> but that's a rookie. 88 Joe McGrain rookie, 88 Donruss. Um, these were nice cards too. This was Studio 94 Studio. I think so. Nice clean picture on the front. Colorful, colorful stuff on the back. Uh, I got a Bowman Kyle Seeger early card. I don't know if this is rookie because, you know, Bowman reaches out to you when you're in kindergarten. But uh, no, it's not a rookie. 2015 and then there's totals. Yeah, check it out on the back. Not a rookie. But still pretty cool, Kyle Seeger. Here's your hit. Uh, Trevor May, top certified autograph issue. I don't know who this... I don't remember who Trevor May was. but um, But that's that. And it's not serial numbered or anything. Just certified issue. Uh, Hensley Mullins, otherwise known as Bam Dam, because he had a ton of home runs. 89 upper deck, but it's Dave Rigetti. Nice, nice picture on the back. Dave Rigetti, known as Rags. 
Look at this. This is vintage tops right here. 1979? Yeah. 1979 tops. Larry McWilliams on the Braves. See, in 79, they were green on the back. It's cool. Don, your daughter's a slut. <laughs> Scott Milton Bradley. Just one of those nicknames. Mike Sosha, you guys knew him as a manager. I knew him as a player. Catching for the Dodgers. Bobby Bonia, still making money from the Mets to this day. Oops, uh, dropped that card. This is 95, 98 Pinnacle. Oh my goodness, take a look at, take a look at the nice color. See, these were done, these were done well too. Everybody took a page out of 89 Upper Deck. You got a nice color photo on the back. Clear, easy to read stats. That's the way to do it. Played a guitar on the MTV. These were nice. These were 94 Upper Deck. These I loved. This was like the last pack of cards I remember buying because they were nice. Not a whole lot of them. Was that the right side up? It was. Not a whole lot of them. I bought mostly um, 93 Upper Deck. 93 Upper Deck, 93 Tops because Tops Gold was a big thing. This is, what do we got here? Nifi Perez, uh, I don't know who this is, but I pulled it aside. I think we were just looking at the at the cool cards Upper Deck made. And we got Topps Chrome, no, Topps Finest. I remember when Topps Finest first came around, we were like, what is that gonna be, like five cards? Because we didn't know what that meant. But what it is is, it's a very thick card, you know, very very uh, refractor-ish, very glossy, and uh, and they gave you like a very, very nice, very nice back. And uh, Topps Finest was just their finest production, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. And we got a pack of 1989 Donruss wax. Wow, that ripped right open. I guess the wax didn't settle on that. Lucky me. 89, yeah. Oh, look at this. I got a Don Mattingly. 89, 89 Donruss, Don Mattingly, Diamond Kings. My brother is a big Don, Don, uh, Don Mattingly fan. He's going he's gonna to be pretty excited about that. Uh, just flipping through here real quick. Did not get the Ken Griffey Jr. rated rookie. Um, but I got these guys. Nothing great to look at. Bright yellow back cards. <laughs> like, like, oh my God, I can't see anymore. Um, that and that and that. All right, so that's, um, that's one shitbox. Yeah, one more shitbox to go. Tune in next week, folks.